Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to rig an animate Genesis figure from Daz in Blender using the Rig Genesis add-on. And this is a Blender add-on developed to ease the rigging and animation workflow for Daz and Blender artists. Um, in Daz Studio, I already have the Genesis 8 product visible in the Smart Content pane. And now I will select figures and then loop the Genesis 8 basic female into the scene. And I'm going to quickly change the shader here to smooth shaded. I'll then add some clothing to the character by checking here in the wardrobe. And I'll also check for hair and add that to the character as well. Um, I'm going to come over here in the parameters to change the resolution of these objects, all of the objects in my scene. I'm going to change them from high to base and this helps with performance when working in Blender. So now I'll just export the file by coming up here to file, then export. And I'm going to target a folder, then give it a preferred name. And I'll leave this format as Autodex FBX and, and then I'll hit save. So in this export window, ensure to have figures checked and also make sure color textures to folder is checked. And uh, I'm going to leave this as FBX binary. And also match clothing into figure skeleton should be checked as well as allow degraded skinning and scaling. So now I'm going to select accept so in blender the first thing after deleting the cube is to go to edit and um, preferences then add on and then select the install button up here then i'll go to the folder where i have the rig gns add-on and let me extend this window a bit so now I will select the add-on and then hit the install add-on down here. And once the add-on is installed, I will have to check this box to enable it. And also I will check for the rigify add-on under the rigging category. Also to make sure the rigify is enabled. Uh, let me quickly remove this and yeah, then enable that as well. All right, so now when I open the properties panel, I shall see the rig genus add-on at the side tab here i'll select it to open the ui and now i'll select import and then locate my file but while still in the import window i'm going to uncheck the use pre slash post rotation which is under transform and then i'll check automatic bone orientation under amateur uh, and now i'll just click the add button up here and this is just to add my settings to the operator preset so I won't have to repeat this step every time I'm importing and now I'll just simply select import all right once the character is loaded into the scene I will start the rigging process by selecting initialize then add meta rig then match rig and then generate rig and then finally rig figure and once this is finalized i will change the viewport shading up here to rendered preview to see what the figure looks like when rendered and unchecking this box kind of helps boost the light for some reason and not to go to anything but you would agree with me that the shaders look fairly decent i currently have my render engine set to cycles and when i change it to ev you should see that um the shader still looks okay So now I'll switch the viewport shading back to solid for the sake of performance and um, for better visualization I'll come here and change the color to textures and I also kind of prefer matte cap lighting. Alright so now I'll quickly show you what you can achieve once and you have the figure rigged.
all right so um all of this is just the first part of the add-on that is i only covered the rigging aspect of it and there's also the animation aspect of the add-on which enable us to copy already defined animation from either mixamo or da studio and again there's the aspect that helps us create lip sync on the character and these aspects are covered in separate videos and you can watch them by clicking on the mini screen on this video or checking the link in the description just in case I couldn't figure out how to do the mini screen stuff and also in the descriptions are links that will direct you to where you can get the add-on so that's that thank you for watching